Hello, everyone. Welcome to NPTEL course on groundwater hydrology and management. This is week 10, lecture 4. In this week, we have been looking at groundwater data, especially the data that helps us understand the groundwater hydrology and also make models and estimates water budgets for improving the groundwater resource management. We have looked at the aquifer types, the aquifer material, the groundwater level, and especially in the last class, we looked at how to differentiate the groundwater level between sites and download the data. Moving on, we will be looking at the resource assessments that have been added into the WRIS website. So what we'll be doing is, we'll be looking at groundwater resources water budget given by the government data. We will also look at groundwater download data for a particular region and compare the data. So there are two or multiple types of scientists or researchers who would like to look at groundwater. Some would look at very deep groundwater and see how it behaves. Whereas some would look at one particular well and see the trends, how it goes. Well, others would like to look at the water budget for a region. And that is where this tab helps you in the assessment of groundwater resources. So let us <coughs> start the tab. to share my screen. Okay. So we are back <coughs> at the uh, main page. We go to uh, water data, go to groundwater data. We, we, we already saw the exploration. We saw the water level behavior. Now we're going to look at the groundwater resource estimation. I've clicked it and this page comes up. Okay, there are three different tabs within this um, uh, major uh, website for groundwater resources. You can see GW resources and slowly as per your internet speed, the data comes up. You have groundwater resources, just the assessment of groundwater resources. See how the data is populating by use of internet and then the download uh, groundwater data or compare. <clears throat> Let's start with the groundwater resources and understand what this data is. Uh, your left panel, this panel, what you see here, always has your uh, uh, menu or uh, your, uh, your details about what this is. You can bring it down to see if um, anything you would like to read, zoom in, zoom out, the menus and also the tutorial. Okay, so I'm just showing what are the groundwater uh, tabs that they have and how you could use it for your understanding. You could see here, you could make a graph, you could download the data, you can populate the image, make one image, and then from the image, you can take some data out, for example, like this. Okay, just make an image and you can put it in your report. So most of these uh, images are ready-made for you in the uh, web page itself, and you can quickly use it for your benefit in your reports and uh, research work. And there is the other way where you can download data and do the research, uh, research by yourself. Okay, you can see like different um, uh, data you can download, you can compare, etc. So now I'm going to walk you through what each one is. So I'm going to push this to the side. <coughs> I've looked at groundwater resources, okay. And you could see the base map as similar to the previous base maps, you can pick a background. Here, the background would be different. Let's uh, give an example. You could see how the uh, aerial view of the satellites is shown. 
I'll go back to streets for the internet, best internet speed. Okay, so that is your base gallery. So the base map, which is behind the data set, what you can use. Okay, then you have your layer list. In the layer list, because we've clicked groundwater resources, only one layer comes up, which is your groundwater resources. And then you can print user guide is here. Now coming back, you can select a year for groundwater resources. Let's select one year. The map just tells you different colors, but we'll get to that uh, after we select one year. Let's say 2011 and the data populates. <coughs> As the data is, you can look it for an entire nation, which is India, or you can go to a particular state. Let's look at India first. And when you come here, you could see that the different colors what they give net annual groundwater availability. So this is how much water recharges annually, and the net after all the other uh, uh, you know losses, how much is available is the net. Then you have the annual groundwater draft which is how much water is taken out and then which is in green color and then the pink is annual groundwater irrigation so how much water of the taken is used for irrigation you could clearly see that these are volumes okay so you can clearly see that of the groundwater availability uh, most of the water is used for groundwater draft which has been taken so not uh, there is some uh, difference between the blue and the green and that difference is the net storage or it goes as base flow now there is not much difference between the green and the pink especially in irrigation states like for example you have here the haryana punjab rajasthan those regions you could see that the green and the pink are almost same level which means how much ever you take water, it is going to be used for groundwater irrigation. Okay, so Tamil Nadu, uh, Karnataka, Andhra, Telangana, all these places, Maharashtra, where agriculture is very, very high, you could see that most of the groundwater is taken and used for irrigation. So let's look at further on the data. So this is the entire country in billion cubic meters. So billion is 10 power 9 right you have thousands and then you have the millions and then you have the billion so billion cubic meter per year so groundwater draft is given here annual so draft also includes here you can see how much is used for irrigation how much is used for <coughs> industry and how much annual groundwater draft Okay, so if you add these two, this will come. Domestic and industry are clubbed together, right? So let's look at one state, Maharashtra, for example. And then you can select a district. Here there's uh, less districts right now. It's just getting populated. You can see now the district boundaries coming out, okay? Uh, and it can also tell you if the groundwater availability is high and you're taking more water than the groundwater availability, then you are actually depleting your aquifer, which is red color, over exploited. If you're taking around 100%, then it is critical. And then the semi critical is 70 to 90%. For example, if I give you 100 rupees, that is your annual groundwater availability. And you take all the hundred out, then you are critically um, endangering this the groundwater. So it is a critical state. Suppose I give hundred and you uh, ask for more, twenty rupees, give me more. Then one twenty is above the annual that I can give you, which means that is over exploitation. You are over exploiting the situation. Semi-critical is 70 to 90% because eventually the 70-90% can become the 90% or 100%. So that is why that's called semi-critical. So if I give, if I have 100 rupees for you, you only use 70 to 90 and then save the 10 rupees, then it is a semi-critical. The safe is use 70%. And all these numbers are based on a lot of statistics, research, and they've come up as indicators. 
So you can see the colorings here. Since we didn't pick a district, uh, the district didn't come and you could see that the district is not populating. So let it go. Uh, I'm going to clear it and uh, just keep Maharashtra as a state if, if uh, it is going to show me any data. And sometimes, as I said, the data is still coming. So let, let it not uh, affect you. Just for uh, the uh, benefit of people, let us do Punjab. And then see which district. So see all of our, all of them are red. And most of them are red. Okay. So you could see that they are using the blue is lower. Okay. So the blue is lower than the green, which means of the annual recharge, you are ex extracting more than double here. At least you can see here double. So more than 100%, 120%, 150%. That is wrong. That you cannot do. Okay. So um, the, you have to look at it in a very critical angle. Then you have all these. Look at this. This is very bad, right? You have uh, coming in, for example, 30, uh, 30 billion cubic meters coming in. But you're using 70 to 80 billion cubic meters, which means you're doubling, tripling the groundwater use. You are actually using the annual draft and also taking more from the storage of the aquifer. This is not acceptable in long run because at the end of the day, your storage, groundwater storage, the deep aquifer will also lose. It will also run out and you'll have zero groundwater for any development. So any none of the districts are coming, so it's okay. Let's clear it. And let's see which of the states of India in 2020, which of the states are bad and which are good. So you can see here, this state isn't good because all the blue is up. Uh, if I zoom in, uh, I can actually go into, or we can also see it from here. This is the total groundwater draft, okay? And you could see that, but uh, here, the Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan belt, the blue, which is the annual coming in, your salary is only 100 rupees, but you're taking 120 rupees. So you are depleting the aquifer, all these regions. Gujarat is okay. All these uh, western and southern uh, states are okay. Still, there are some pockets. So as a state, it is okay. But when you go in as a district, some of the districts are turning red, which means overexploited. Let's look at 2011. So this is 2020, the data we saw. <clears throat> now I'm switching to 2011. You could see like 10 years ago, uh, still the situation was bad here, but the drafts were different. How much water was taken, the volume was different. And that is where you could use this. You can download this data, see download data, and then you could also look at um, further uh, more details of the water budget. I'll come to that uh, in, in a few seconds. Then you can also make graphs and charts for your colorful presentations like this. OK? They're still updating, so you'll have some delay uh, in the data. So let's take Maharashtra again. <clears throat> you could see that uh, in 2011, uh, OK, let's take Andhra Pradesh because it's easier to see. 6.29.7387. So the total annual groundwater draft was 7 billion cubic meters uh, for the state of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. In 2011. So how was that in 2020? Do you think it's extended? Seven. Let's think about the number. And now it's populating to Andhra Pradesh. Uh, 2020 is 6.601.030. So the total draft hasn't changed much. Okay. This is because the irrigation pattern may not have changed much. The domestic industrial use may not have changed much. Uh, for example, the um, industry may have changed, but they don't give the numbers. But for sure, the population has increased. But we don't have the population data. So that is why we don't see a big increase. Okay. Good. So this is how you could compare between years. And then get the data. <clears throat> Let's take one example in detail. Okay, so I'm going to click Andhra Pradesh. You can click the state.
Andhra Pradesh. I'm clicking the map. Sometimes will also zoom in. Okay, now it's zoomed in Andhra Pradesh. And you can see that the districts are also turning colors. So once this comes, your district names are now populated. See, now you can select the district. So you have to select the state and then select the district to look at the district level um, changes. So you can see here, this part around Chittur, Chennai is actually turning red, which means it is uh, uh, having more groundwater than uh, the recharge. So these are the district names. You can see all these here, and then you can download if you want. <clears throat> and then you could see individual. So this is the state, right? This is the annual draft and then uh, the uh, initial draft. I can also click on a particular district. The district will be selected here, Sri Kulam, and then you have the blocks also. So these are the block names. You can also zoom into the block. I'll show you the first Amandala Vasala block. And there you are. So at a block level, you can look at it, the groundwater draft, and then you can come down because now you have a selected for a small area. So you can look at what is the annual industrial draft, what is the annual irrigation draft, groundwater draft also for that particular block. Okay. So the idea here is the granularity can bring you down to the block level. You can start at India level, look at the data, go to state go to district, go to block, okay? And each data you can download for the selected draft and you can also make a graph. So here's how the graph looks like. <clears throat> and then when you can download it uh, uh, per se on how you want the data to be. All this is free. You don't have to pay anything. You just have to download uh, as a student. So uh, you could actually go back and say clear. So to go back, you have to say clear. And let's say I'm going to go back to Andhra Pradesh. Okay, it will zoom in slowly. And you see the multiple districts and within the districts, the blocks will come. So now my, my point is, let's look at, let's I'm selected this as my study area for now. Now I'm going to look at the groundwater draft in HAM. Okay, so the units would change because it is not billion cubic meters. <clears throat> okay, it is HAM. So what do you see here is a different unit a volume. Okay, it's the same volume. <coughs> and you have the district name, the annual irrigation draft. So you can look at which are the districts that are taking more water for irrigation. Maybe it is a um, uh, irrigated uh, uh, district, like for example, an, an agricultural district could be there where it takes more water. So you can have this as a irrigated district. Then you can come down and pick and choose which ones you want. So you have the irrigation draft, which is the biggest, and then you have the annual uh, domestic and industrial draft, and then you have the annual groundwater draft total. So this is in your budget. So let me type the budget. So what was the budget we had as storage is equals to, so the next storage, the remaining water is equals to input minus draft or output. The input is your recharge and everything. So that is already given here in the, in the data as annual available water. And then the draft is your total draft, which can be here as it's given here, it is, um, a summation of irrigation okay it is a summation of irrigation uh, and your <coughs> domestic draft domestic industrial etc so this is your draft and then your input is your recharge you subtract it you'll get the annual uh, the remaining uh, which is your storage Okay, so now I'm going to take one more district just to show the change. Let's take one in Punjab. So I've selected Punjab, 
Punjab is coming and you can see it's red color. What was red? You can uh, bring out this legend, the, the dash marks. Okay. What does it say? The net available groundwater, annual groundwater draft and how much is used for irrigation. All you have to say is the blue and the green. If the blue minus green is negative, then you are depleting the aquifer. Okay, so let's look at it here. Uh, I'm going to take uh, maybe in, in, in uh, one district, see what district we can take. See, the district has not even changed. So we need to select this uh, Punjab and now it will change. See, now it has changed in Punjab, uh, Andana, etc., etc. So let's go to Duri. I've selected Duri. See, it is selected. Okay. And you can come down to look at the details of the selected unit. So, hectare meters, it's just an area times a uh, length, which is a uh, volume. Okay. <clears throat> Not hectare per meter, it's hectare meters, H A M. So, if you look at the annual domestic industrial draft, it is 5617, whereas the irrigation is very, very high and the total is very high 337133 but your total replenishable is only 124192 okay which means you are taking a lot of groundwater data uh, for irrigation because irrigation is the <coughs> key resource here okay let me uh, zoom out Okay, it says please select the block. It's still going to Andhra Pradesh. So sometimes there is some, uh, you know, uh, it, it does get stuck a little bit. Don't worry, just uh, use uh, your, um, you know, whatever you get uh, after you have these non water irrigation things. Okay, so here let's do it from here. Let's do Punjab. Okay, I'm selecting Punjab. And then your districts will populate. Okay. Okay, in Punjab, I selected Ludhiana. So this district would have come here already. And it populates. So what happens here is you are making uh, some adjustments to your selection to look at how much water is available. Okay, and how much groundwater can we take? So now it has, uh, uh, it has come back up. Let's see where we have the data coming in. Again, it does get stuck, so don't worry about it. I'm just going to refresh it. So there is, okay, here it comes. <clears throat> so we've looked at the groundwater draft per resource per district. And then we looked at what are the groundwater budgets. Now we will look at in the same tab up, we have download the GR data. I'm going to click it. You can select a year, say 2020, the, the recent ones. And then select, we've looked at Andhra Pradesh. So let's say Andhra Pradesh. And then we did some district. So 
you can download the whole state. So just give download data, it will come. And now the districts has come. So let's say Anantapura, Chittur was what we saw. So Chittur, okay, Tirupadi, Chittur, that uh, area, and then you can download the data. So you can download the data just straight away. Just click it, and then it'll ask you, are you academics, why, why you want to use it, etc. It will be a budget. So all the water budgets that we spoke about in class, your hydrological budgets, everything can be done using this data. It will give you a net groundwater uh, budget. So I want, uh, just for the internet, I want to save it. Okay. The last one we want to discuss today is compare. See, compare is a pretty useful tool to look at two different years and see how the water has changed. Okay. All I did is I clicked compare on the top. You can see here. So select first year is 2011 on this side. On the left side will be 2011. So what is going to happen is that the image is going to be divided into two. 2020. And let's say Punjab. And I hit compare. Okay. So when you do a compare, now you see how much annual draft has changed. Okay. This image can still remain as um, one of this uh, draft, but you can see that uh, from 0.7, the groundwater extraction has increased to one, one billion cubic meters per year. And then your annual irrigation draft has come down. So for some reason, your uh, domestic and industrial draft has gone up your uh, irrigation draft has come down. The total annual draft is, is almost equal or it, I'll say less, just by 1 billion cubic meter. And the rainfall recharge has come down. Therefore, your recharge has come down. Your uh, uh, net groundwater storage will also be affected. Okay, recharge from other sources, rainfall recharge, recharge from other sources, non-monsoon, all these budgets, what I said in the previous uh, lectures, how to establish the budgets and stuff, all has been done here. Okay. Then we will uh, have the annual total annual uh, re replenishable groundwater, which is 22530 in 2011, and which is 22800.800 uh, uh, in uh, 2020. Uh, you have the net groundwater availability is almost the same. You can look at the next. So the projection use up to 2025. You could see how much water they're going to use in the next five years and groundwater availability for future irrigation. In 2011, it was negative because the stage of development was very high. But in uh, 2020, it is almost positive, which is some betterment uh, compared to the previous uh, years. So there is some uh, thing okay about this 1.610. Then you have your stage of groundwater development as 172 versus 164. So it is above 100. If it is above 100%, it is red. Okay, so that is why you have a red color in the um, uh, zoning of Punjab. So with this, I would like to stop today about uh, this uh, tab that we explained, which is getting the data on groundwater resources, which gives you the water budget, the hydrological water budget for groundwater resources. You can do it as a country, you can do it as a state, as a district and even as a block. So you will have to be very careful to uh, discuss all this because some people say I don't get data, there's no data, but government has put a very good website. Please use the website. There are some internet issues. Sometimes the, the website doesn't work because of maintenance. So don't uh, lose hope. Just um, close it, refresh it as I've done it or come back in a day or two, it will definitely work. Don't keep it to the last minute. It won't work. Okay, so the, it, you'll have to spend a lot of time taking the data out. That's why I'm very slowly going in each tab by tab in the class. With this, I'll stop. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.